have to pick up an online order for Livia Adams. Okay, you can drive for us. Thank you. Yes, Morning. Livia? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's a pretty name. Thank you. <laughs> it's uh, Italian, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you take care, okay? <laughs> and welcome back to another video another cheat day video I hope you're all doing good and you're all staying safe and healthy and sane today I wanted to do another cheat day another fast food cheat day because I've been really craving some fast food recently I thought of making it a calorie challenge but I'll just go about my day and eat whatever and then I count the calories for funsies and maybe put them in a title I mean you know by now and yeah I want to start with uh, some Krispy Kreme when I say some I mean a dozen donuts uh, from Krispy Kreme so I'm actually super super stoked for those also really quickly uh, Caitlin Rose from San Francisco, you won the muffins the, from the giveaway. Congratulations. You will be refunded and emailed by Monster Muffins. And yeah, stay tuned for another giveaway of Monster Muffins on my Instagram if you're interested in that. And happy Mother's Day. And this is a small message to my mom. Mama, ich vermisse dich total. Mama, ich hab dich lieb und ich hoffe, dir geht's gut heute. And yeah, I love you so much, Mama. And let's get into those donuts. All right. First up, I want to start with a cinnamon sugar one because I got to change it up sometime. And yeah, I'd say uh, cheers. Mm hmm Yeah. Two cinnamon donuts down. I got two chocolate covered ones, which I'm going to take out now. One is cream filled. I think this one is cream filled. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That one was actually pretty good. I like that a lot. The cream filling is good. I don't know what it is, but it's good. Let's take out one of those um, blueberry cake. That one was delicious. Even though I didn't warm it up, that one was great. Okay, I have two glazed. I'm think I'm just gonna enjoy those. Right now, I love Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. By the way, I made cronuts and the glaze was really great. Pop-up shop. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the winner. That's delicious. Working on a donut recipe. delicious but I just realized I think I ordered cake batter and they didn't give me cake batter but then everything else I ordered is there so maybe I'm tripping anyways let's do a strawberry sprinkle for Nate I actually have two of those too I really like like Nate made the strawberry sprinkle grow on me I really like this one so cheers to this one. Oh yeah oh yeah this one is soft mmm mmm <laughs> mmm Delicious. Mmm. What is your favorite donut from Krispy Kreme? I think it's mine is this one, the raspberry filled one. It's just gorgeous. I mean look at it. Mmm. 
I have two of these and I'm gonna enjoy those right now. I'm getting there, but it's only three donuts left and yeah, I really love this one. Oh, it's so good. I love Krispy Kreme. Definitely one of my favorites. Two left. One blueberry cake and one Boston cream. I think I'm gonna go for the Boston cream first. I like the cream one better. The sun is rising, shining in my face. So, this is the last one. Uh, I want to say Starbucks has... Uh, Krispy Kreme, of course, has one of the best blueberry cake donuts. I'm gonna stand by that. Mm-hmm, it's gorgeous. So soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside with the icing. Fantastic. <laughs> That was fantastic. I don't feel too bad because I didn't get too many filled donuts, which was very smart of me in hindsight. I'm going to drive back home and catch you for lunch. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I have semester break and I'm really excited to just relax for a little bit. Day 2000 of quarantine, smile is frozen. <laughs> yeah, resting, is. resting, desperate face. No, I think it resting desperate face like this. No, that looks too that looks too hopeful. Oh, does it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need a real desperate face, booby. Okay, yeah. That is it. That is it. Is the double chin noticeable? Um slightly. What do you mean slightly? It's in full effect. Tell the people where we're at. We're at Starbucks. Because? Because we're basic basically. And we're waiting in this stupid basic line and we have company in the back seat one is right here and one i can't even see can you see oh yeah she's looking out the window oh oreo no reese's is reese's is taking a napper hi reese's oh is that cool all right we're getting iced coffee mm -hmm. and a cake pop uh i'm gonna order this right now online and uh show you when it gets here just... Here we, <laughs> I'm kidding. Here, happy birthday. It's not even my birthday, but thank you. <laughs> I got a, I don't know what I got. It's, but it has cookie bits and frappuccino bits. And I also got a cookie dough, cake pop. Cookie dough because they didn't have lemon. Which is unfortunate because lemon is our favorite one. What do you mean but our I'm... favorite one? What does that mean? Are you t are you speaking for me now? I am. Oh. Where is this ready to Mm-hmm. Yep. Who are you talking to? Myself. Okay. Huh? What's going on? Talking to them? You're talking to the camera? Mm-hmm. Talking to the people. <laughs> Alright. That was really good. I haven't had that in a long time. And it's delicious. We're gonna drink coffee and then we're going to um KFC. I wanted that one. Just kidding. We're now heading to the next spot, which I think is gonna be KFC. The five piece tender box, uh, mac and cheese, and then also a famous bowl. I hope they got the- uh, Thank you. The box cracked. We got the food. We got the goods. And or at some least hot dog. And we got a hot dog? Yeah, Are it's, you right, gonna eat her? it's right here. Oh, mama wants to eat you. I'm gonna eat you because you're so cute. Look at your face, I wanna eat you. You have there a, a famous bowl. Oh yeah. You also have there a, a, what you call a chicken tender box. That's correct. So I would say let's, uh, let's go home, huh? Your tongue's slapping inside of my mouth. It's gross. Yeah, let's go home. We are back with the food and there's actually something missing. I hope they got the uh, Thank you. The box cracked. 
it's the fries. This box is supposed to come with two sides, mac and cheese and fries. Has a biscuit, chicken, we got the bowl though, and we got the finger licking good sauce. I don't even know what this sauce is. Oh, it smells like a mustard, a mustard sauce. But I actually really like the sauce. I think I'm going to go in for a piece of chicken. And yeah, cheers. And to the fries that are not here. That's good actually. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta say, this chicken is actually pretty good. So why I never had KFC in Germany is because in Germany they use meat from, they call it chicken separation meat, which is pretty much, they hang the chicken, that's parts, you know, once you strain, they use high pressure water. I don't know. But this chicken, forget what I said, this chicken is actually pretty good, I gotta say that. It's crunchy on the outside, it's not rubbery inside like the 7-Eleven horror last week. So I actually, Gotta say, KFC, I like this chicken. Now I wanna try this bowl. This is really heavy. I hope you can see that. I think it's mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, cheese, and popcorn chicken, and I'm going to investigate this right now. So here's the thing. When we talk about mash, my mom always makes fresh potato mash, and it's really great this tastes like instant mash so it's a turn off the gravy is okay the thing is the chicken the it's not crunchy anymore because it gets soggy so i don't know the entire purpose of this but i'm going to uh, finish this one right now and the chicken gets an 8 out of 10 given for fast food and this gets a 6 out of 10. was okay. All right, I'm bringing you a little closer. So we have the mac and cheese, the famous sauce, and the tenders and the biscuit. Let's try the mac and cheese. I mean, the pasta is cooked to death, but it's a cheesy mac and cheese, so it's not too bad. This pasta must have high sodium warning. That was very salty, but not too bad. I'd give this a 7 out of 10. And last but not least, I actually need the fork. I'm going to work on my chicken tenders and I'll make a little chicken sandwich with the biscuit. It's very crumbly, I don't know. It's not gonna happen. Something like this. Yeah, I'll save this for later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the um, chicken tenders first. biscuit and the rest of the sauce. Actually gonna open this one. All right, it was going to be a mess. Very delicious, very good. Oh, that was delicious. Wow, that was my favorite part. I don't know what the finger licking sauce is, but it's very, very good. I really like that biscuit sandwich I made with the chicken tenders gets a nine out of 10. That was delicious. I'm glad I tried out KFC. I wish they didn't forget the fries because I really wanted to try KFC fries. But yeah, I feel good. I'm going to do some work for the day, finish up some stuff, and then I'll be back with you for dinner. I think I might do Burger King. Alright 
guys, we are back with Burger King. It has been a long day. I actually picked it up. I wanted to get it ordered, but then I couldn't find a store that would deliver it under $5. So I was like, we were going out with the dog. So I was like, you know what? I'll just take the keys and just drive there and get it. So that's why I didn't bring you guys with me. But yeah, here is what we have. We have a Rodeo burger. Nate said this was a big burger. I don't know compared to the Whopper, if you would consider this a big burger. We also have onion rings and fries and an apple pie. I don't know if you consider that an apple pie. It's pretty much all gone. I think they didn't have Diet Coke anymore, so this is regular Coke. And I didn't have any sauces. They didn't give me any sauces with this. But there's ketchup on this Rodeo burger, so let's give this a try. Barbecue sauce, onion rings, and a beef patty. Honestly, Mm. It looks, looks are deceiving. I'll bring you a little closer to me too. This one is actually not bad. It's good. Honestly guys, this was really good. So simple, I think it's the barbecue sauce that really saved that, and then the crispiness from the onions. Honestly, this is this gets an 8.5 out of 10. I really like that, and it only costs $1. Um, I got it in a meal, but in a, by itself, it's $1, which I think is a good deal. It's a pretty good sandwich. Next up, we're trying some um, Burger King fries. Are you team McDonald's or Burger King? Or any other fries? What are your favorite fast food fries? I think I like the Burger King ones because they're thicker, but McDonald's, I don't know how they do that. I think they mix milk in, in their potatoes. They do something to their potatoes, not considered doing something good to them, but they taste great. Um, these are crisp on the inside, soft on the inside. It's just they're missing a distinct flavor. I'm gonna do I'm actually going to put them on the whopper and Nate swears on these onion rings he says these are great let me taste test them oh yeah I don't know if there's even onion like in them I feel like that's just a dough made of onion powder but they're good I'm actually going to save some of these two and put them on the whopper I haven't had a Whopper in the longest time. Are you Team Whopper or Team Big Mac? I think as of now, I'm Team Big Mac. All right, this is my, the monster. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to show you the monster I created, but I think this is not gonna go well. Let's do it this way. That is an abomination of a burger. And I heard you're supposed to eat a burger upside down, so. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Crunchy, juicy, all the works. This is actually pretty delicious. The crunch from the onion rings and the fries, and then the juiciness from the mayo, softness from the bun, and then the sausage or beef. That is pretty, pretty good. I think I still favor the Sonic cheeseburger, but I can't really complain about this Whopper and it's ginormous.
that was delicious and that filled me right up. That was super filling, wow. Mm. But that was delicious. I like when there's something fresh on burger. And last but not least, we have this a little bit sad looking apple pie, which is pretty much applesauce and then some pastry on top, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's actually pastry on the bottom, but that would not fly with Paul Hollywood. I need to, I need to really get into this. Okay, this apple pie is pretty good because it's warm, but they use an apple jelly or something, very sticky, and then they slap some sweet dough on it. So what can I say? I like it, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, the, the apple pie gets a seven out of 10. I think I would get that again. The onion rings, Nate didn't lie, are actually really great. I don't think they're made with like how you actually make onion rings. You take actual onion rings and then you dust them in flour and then you put them in egg wash and then you put them into whatever batter you want, like pan panko crumbs or bread crumbs. I don't think they made it that way. I think they just use onion powder, mix up like a little ring and fry it. But it was good and the fries were pretty decent. I was glad that I went to Burger King, honestly, but now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel pretty full. Um, it's it's later, so I don't know if I'll have anything else. I'll put the calories that I have for now on the screen. I had Starbucks, I had Krispy Kreme, I had KFC and now Burger King, so yeah. If this is it, guys, I hope that you're staying safe and healthy and I hope that everything is going well for you and that you're all doing great. And I hope to see you sometime during the week because I might actually do a little update on my fitness routine if you guys are interested. If not, I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye. <laughs>